since the creation of UN Women, which is the woman entity in the United Nations, women who belong to the UN family have been playing a more significant role within the UN system and across the world. Peter Lonsky, Tiffenthal, you are the head of public information in the UN. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, Ma. A few weeks ago, managers in the United Nations signed an agreement which included a system-wide action plan for gender equality and the empowerment of women. What is it all about? This uh, so-called action plan is a formal commitment by the senior leadership of the United Nations to empower women and to work towards uh, gender equality across the United Nations family. Um, it should raise consciousness, awareness among uh, colleagues across the system when it comes to hiring and when it comes to uh, selecting candidates for uh, vacant jobs. Um, and it should help to completely change the mindset uh, of the entire institution and create an openness towards uh, creating the strongest possible team at the United Nations consisting of women and men. Concretely, uh, how would you carry out the plan? What would guarantee its uh, success? Roughly, how would it work? I think it's important uh, to live uh, by and lead by example. And uh, DPI, the Department for Public Information, tries to do exactly that. We try uh, to encourage managers and uh, uh, to make sure that uh, not only the best candidates are being chosen for particular assignments, but that programs are being introduced that take uh, into account um, the special kind of position that women may have when it comes to maternity leave, for example, or to special working arrangements. Uh, and to make that something very normal, very natural, and not the exception. Peter, I am quite aware you are a strong supporter of women, but as a UN manager, why is it meaningful to you to be part of such a plan? First of all, um, I get all of us have grown up in a particular environment, in a family, in a school, at a university, within a group of friends, and I think uh, we've realized that you learn, you live, and hopefully eventually you lead by example. And uh, that's exactly what I would like to do on this particular issue. What is the added value of women's contribution to public information in your opinion? As I just indicated, um, it is about putting together the strongest possible team for the United Nations. And I think the strongest possible team consists of great women and great men alike. And uh, uh, there is some catch-up to do at the United Nations, and I'm sure at many other agencies too, when it comes to bringing the best women into that team. And uh, that's exactly what we are working towards. Would you support the idea of a female UN Secretary General in the future? Very much so. I, I strongly believe that this would send a very, very strong message. and. Uh, be also of a very important symbolic character. So what would a woman bring to the job, in your opinion? I think it would be, first and foremost, a very strong message. It would mean a lot of encouragement to women around the world that the first uh, position in such a huge organization, worldwide institution as the United Nations, can also be held by a woman. Um, and I'm sure that a strong woman in, in that position would uh, put together a team that would lead the United Nations successfully into the future. On a more personal note, what do you bring yourself from your foreign service experience that could be applied to enhance the role of women in the UN system? I believe uh, that the Austrian foreign ministry uh, already some years ago has uh, within Austria taken the lead when it comes to uh, empowerment of women and uh, gender related issues and uh, in that sense I hope I can bring some of the experiences I had acquired over the years in the Austrian Foreign Service to my new assignment here with the United Nations. Such as what for example? Such as making um, women part of the team a very normal, a very natural part of uh, recruiting. 
uh, such as uh, taking into account the special needs requirements but also abilities of women uh, when it comes to hiring them for particular assignments. Um, I think that is important. It's important that hiring managers are being made sensitive to this particular uh, kind of approach and it's important to lead by example uh, when it comes to selecting candidates for important positions. Now, moving from the UN House to society at large, how would the UN play a key role in ensuring gender equality and women's empowerment? I think the United Nations um, have a moral authority on many issues around the world, be it on health, be it on education. Uh, and I think the United Nations does and should also uh, take that role, take on that role when it comes to gender issues. And I think uh, particularly these days as you walk on the premises and even off the premises of the United Nations headquarters here in New York, uh, you notice this amazing energy that's being generated uh, through the presence of so many women participating in an international conference that you notice what, uh, what women can bring to, to uh, this job. Thanks very much indeed, Peter Lansky-Tiffenthal, for this interview. Thank you, Maha, for having me on the show.